weekend. They fall down a spot because Bethel got a win last night. They're the 12 points. They're now in third place behind St. Thomas. A full six points behind the Thomas. Gustavus lost last night to Bethel. So Bethel jumps ahead of them. And the standings right now in the MIAC, we'll get into this a little bit deeper later on, but St. John's with 23 points on top. St. Thomas with 18 is number two. Then there's a six-point separation. Bethel with 12 points. Augsburg, St. Olaf, and St. Nick. in here rinkside high atop the National Hockey Center ice surface. Tim Dennis, our producer, back in the KTNF studio tonight. Glad to have him along. Glad to have you along tonight for the contest. This is going to be an important game for the Tommies if they want to have any chance at winning the MIAC title. Also going to need some big time help from Augsburg next weekend, who the Johnnies play next weekend in MIAC play. St. John's in their home white uniforms with the red numerals and the royal blue trim, the blue helmets and blue pants. On the other side, on the net to my left, St. Thomas in their road purple uniforms with the white numerals and black trim, black helmets, black pants, and the purple socks. Gathered around starting goaltender Kevin Hennessy, who enters play tonight with a 1.89 goals against average since earning the starting goaltender position earlier in the season. He started 10 games in a row now and has a 7-1-2 record overall. The number two goaltender in the MIAC, the time behind his counterpart on the other side tonight, Adam Hanna, the junior from Owatonna. Tops not only in the MIAC, the tops in the nation, goals against average and saves percentage. And these are the top two teams scoring in the MIAC and the top two scoring defenses in the MIAC. The Johnnies are averaging just over five goals a game. Well, the Tommies come in averaging just over four, and both teams are giving up three goals a game in regular season play. We're ready to go. The Tommies moving from left to right here at the National Hockey Center. Glad you could join us today. Actually, a very nice crowd on hand. This entire side of the building is full, and we're underway as John Bottoms gets the 
puck off the opening draw and dumps it into the offensive zone behind the St. John's net. Johnny's will bring it up ice. Scott Bjorkland moves it through center. Cross ice right wing side into the zone. Ryan Langenbrunner with a slapper. Pad saved by Hennessy, and the rebound goes into the corner. And right away again tonight, a penalty being called. Just 20 seconds into this, when St. John's took an early penalty last night, they're going to give the Tommies a power play just 20 seconds in once again tonight. An interference call is going to be whistled against Bjorkland. And St. Thomas will go on the power play for the first time tonight. Two out of seven last night for the Tommies against the number one power play uh, or penalty killing unit in the MIAC. The Tommies 22.2%. That's tops in the conference in the power play. 93.8% of the penalty opportunities St. John's has killed off so far this year. So the Tommies are on the power play. 30 seconds into this one. St. Thomas sets up the breakout from behind their own net. Bottoms will skate it up the middle of the ice. He goes to the left side. Wilcox into the zone. At the hash mark, tries to take the shot. That goes off the defenseman, Daryl Smoller, off into the corner. Anthony Blummer in there to help out. Skates away with the puck. Back to the point. Bottom shoots right on the mark. And Adam Hanna makes the save and steers it to the corner. Good shot there by Bottoms, but Hanna saw it all the way. Tommy set it up in the near corner. Wilcox had a goal and an assist on the power play. Moves it over to Francis. Now the top of the circle, Kumpovich. Down low, Blummer tried to go short side up the stairs. And the net moves, and they get the face off inside the St. John zone with 18.51 to go in the opening period. 111 to go in the Oakland's interference call. So St. Thomas, two out of seven last night with the man advantage. They control things in the offensive zone with one shot on goal so far. As they bring it into the, uh, they face it off, and St. John's attempting to break it out of the zone, but St. Thomas pins them up along the wall, and they'll try and break it out on the near side. Kept it right point side by Harris. He'll throw it down low to Wilcox behind the net. Clearing attempt broken up bottom, back into the corner. Harris makes a move around the D, tried to get over to the net, but that was broken up by Hannah. Now a shot from the point taken by Bottoms. That was tipped wide of the mark. Trumpetich chases it down on the hash mark on the left wing. Now top of the left circle. Right side, top of the circle for Wilcox. To the point for Bottoms. Throws it on net. That was tipped just wide. Harris picks up a rebound off the end wall. Krumpetich at the dot. Tried to go cross ice to Wilcox on the other side. And the Johnnies clear the zone and bring it through center ice. 27 seconds to go in the power play. Shot taken by St. John's Billy Luger. He fanned on it, and it comes back the other way. Tommy still on the power play for another 18 as they bring it into the zone. They'll fire it in. It'll go around the net to the far side. Brady Fogner chases it down. Comes around to the near wall. Eric Weeham keeps it in at the point for St. Thomas. They give it away in the Johnny's for the zone. And that'll pretty much do it for Bjorkman's interference call as Skyler Kangas brings it into the offensive zone and dumps it in deep. Kangas gets it back at the blue line, throws it down low, goes around behind the net, Will Reagan putting pressure on. He couldn't intercept the outlet, and the Johnnies bring it back to his center. Wilkin crosses the blue line, throws a shot towards the net. That was tipped wide. Liam chases it down in the corner. And Colin Greenlee's now on the right wing for St. Thomas. Crosses the checkered stripe, dumps it into the opposite corner. Tommy changed all five skaters on the ice. Aaron Getchell for the Johnnies. Into the zone left wing for Bjorkman. Bjorkman pinched off the play. And sliding up, Connor Pippen makes a defensive rush, starting it back the other direction. Nate Ryan in the lineup tonight. Not in the lineup last night. Ryan Hayne is Ryan Hayne in offside. And the whistle blows on the offside with 17-0-2 to play in a scoreless opening period. Shot on goal for each team in the early three minutes of this one. The time has opened one on the power play so far. They get a neutralized face out. The time is with control at center. Connor Pippen, right side D. Slides it up ahead to Andy Panchenko. Panchenko in the lineup. Did not play last night, along with Nate Ryan, who forces the issue. He takes a heavy shot along the wall, loses the puck, and the Johnnies clear at the center. Pippen back at his own blue line. Slides it right side for Panchenko. Cross ice for Hayne into the zone. Hayne comes in, left dot, tries to throw it out front. It's tipped in a diving tip attempt by Ryan. Just goes wide. Behind the net for St. John. Trying to play the puck, Andy Johnson. Right wing side, too far. And through center ice, both teams trade possessions. Comes all the way into the zone. Icing is called. We'll take a timeout. 0-0 first period. This is Tommy Hockey on AM 950 Air America, Minnesota.
This would be 30. All of the ones during the play would be 30, please. Thank you. I had to quick take a break here because my crowd might be being sat on. Welcome back to the National Hockey Center, bringing it into the offensive zone. Cozine tries to throw it towards the net. That goes behind the cage. Scoreless in the first period, just under 16 minutes to play in the opening frame as Adam Cozine picks it up in the corner. Being roughed up, lost control of the puck. Billy Luger had it. He couldn't bring it out of his own. And it's kept in at the blue line by Cozine. Looking for somewhere to go with it. Tried to send it towards the net. That went off his skate. Back out to center ice. Now Cozine into the zone. Has Kaiser on the right wing. Cozine takes a long shot. Hannah out to make that easy save. Kaiser a turnaround slapper. That goes off the skate of the Johnny player, Pat Eagles. And St. John's will attempt to bring it up through center. Langenbrunner with a shot that was just wide of the mark. Hennessy saw that one all the way. Here's a centering attempt out front intended for Nebar. He fanned on it as the Tommy defense broke that play up. And the play is along the near wall out towards the blue line being the Tommy zone. Skyler Kangas gets it. Slides it to his D partner, William. He'll chip it ahead. And back at the Johnny Blue line, St. John's defenseman Sam Doerr slides it ahead on the right wing. Into the zone, Ian Ross. Hennessy out behind the cage to leave it. He's got it for Kangas behind the net. Kaiser on the right wing, slips it off the plexiglass out to center ice, and Adam Holmgren of the Johnny sends it right back in. Kangas from behind his net. Right wing, Kaiser, looking to move it out of the zone. He'll skate, now he goes cross ice, a little bit behind Krumpetich, and it'll end up all the way down the ice, and icing will be called. With 14.37 to go here in the first period, we're scoreless at the National Hockey Center in St. Cloud. And this place is filling up very nicely. They typically get about 1,100 to 1,500 fans, SID, Michael Hemmer shared with me, but because it's St. Thomas, because it really is the conference championship of the regular season, nice crowd in here tonight. Tommy's bringing it through center. Blummer with a shot from the blue line. That's gloved down. The rebound back to Blummer. He backhands it wide. Sneaking out from behind the net. A shot by Rollwagon right on, and Hannah makes the save. He gets a whistle as he hangs on too, and it looks like Hannah may have been stung by that one a little bit. Rollwagon tried to go upstairs with that one, and it caught Hannah in the shoulder, and he's shaking things off, skating around. The faceoff will come to his right store with the 14-21 to go in the opener. St. John's controls the faceoff, and they'll bring it out from behind their own net. Matt Check moves it up. Pass was intercepted. Donnie's tried to slip it back the other way, but Bjorklin picks up the loose puck. Sends it towards the net. Now Getzel at the dot. He couldn't get a handle on it. And back the other way come the Tommies out to neutral ice. Branson tried to get it to roll wagon, but that goes awry. And it's center ice the Johnnies regroup and bring it in. Blummer intercepts the pass, and they'll start to rush back the other way. Blummer on the left wing, crosses the red line, tripped up by Getzel. There's a penalty going to be called, and the Tommies are going to go back on the power play, much to the chagrin of the Johnny Faithful, a tripping penalty is going to be called at 6-10. Getchell's going to sit down, and St. Thomas will go back on the power play for the second time tonight, not connecting on their first opportunity in the opening minute of the game. The faceoff will come inside the Johnny zone, top of the circle to the right of Adam Hanna. Brady Faulkner, Colin Greenlease, Kevin Rollwagon, Skyler Kangas, and Eric Williams. The five skaters on the ice for Terry Spypex, Johnny, or Tommy's right now. Daryl Smoller off for St. John's, trying to slide it up the near wall. Can't get it through. St. Thomas will send it back around behind the net to the left wing. Low leg and tripped up as he tried to force it into the corner. The puck comes to the side of the net. Smoller off plays it for the Johnny's off the glass and out to center ice. Puck comes back into the St. Thomas zone, chasing it down through St. John's. Pat Eagles. Skyler Kangas won the race to the puck, however, and the Tommies will bring it back through center. Right wing, roll leg, into the zone. At the half, now down in the corner, plays it off the back wall to the left wing for Brady Fogner. Fogner had a goal last night on the power play, and he rubbed off the play, and it comes back onto the near side. Eagles gets it just inside his own blue line, crosses the red line, and dumps it into the opposite corner. St. Thomas back, 105 to go with the power play, 12.55 to go in a scoreless opening period. And St. Thomas through center ice, the pass to Rollwagon off his stick. The Johnnies pick it up, dump it right back down. Brandon Wilcox will set up the breakout for the Thomas behind his net. Now he'll leave it for John Bottoms. Bottoms right wing for Krumpetich. He'll bring it out of his zone, then go cross ice for Wilcox into the left wing. Top of the circle, shoots, he scores! 
another unassuming shot by Wilcox as he brought it in. Took a lengthy windup on that one, and I think the D player covering for St. John's. It may have been Holmgren. It may have glanced off Holmgren's stick and redirected on Hannah. And St. Thomas stretched first as they did last night at 7.28 of the period. On the power play, Brandon Wilcox gets the goal. To Brandon, that's his 11th of the season. And he's got three power play points on the weekend. And is among the league leaders in power play points in the MIAC. They wait for the official call on the assists on Wilcox's 11th goal of the season. St. Thomas bringing it out of their own zone, back on five on five. Grumpetich and Bottoms with the assist on the Tommy goal as they connect on the power play. One out of two on the night to grab an early lead, one to nothing. They'll bring it through center right. Up ahead at the blue line for Grumpetich. The puck rolled away from him. The Johnnies threw it back out to center, and they'll try and bring it up right. Fighting his way into the offensive zone is Williams, but he is held up. And a penalty going to be whistled against St. Thomas. And now he may get an extra penalty with something happening behind the play once the whistle was blown. And I think we're going to go four on four here with the penalty going to be whistled against Johnson behind the play after the whistle had blown. Derek Drunke is going to get the penalty for St. Thomas. Andy Johnson for St. John's. And we're going to skate four on four. We're on the olympic size shoot of ice here at the National Hockey Center, too. Skating four-on-four four is going to give both teams a little extra room to maneuver. Ryan Langenbrunner, Scott Gorkin, Bill Smolaroff, as well as Matt Check, the four skaters for St. John's. And St. Thomas moves it up by Plumber, Roll Wagon. Here's a St. John's breaking it out of their own zone. Edwards and Bottoms defensively for St. Thomas. Four on four into the zone. Bjorkman, right dot. Fights off the check, takes it into the corner, tries to center it out in front. Rolleg has tried to chase it down. He's going to draw a hooking call here, I believe. St. Thomas is going to go back on the power play once again once they tag up. Tennessee still waiting to go to his own bench now for the extra attacker as the Tommies bring it up ice. Delayed penalty coming against St. John's. Roll wagon. Tried to go down low, had a man blummer at the post, but that was intercepted. And once the Johnnies touched the puck, the whistle was blown. And the tripping call is coming at 8.50 of the period. Now St. Thomas will have a four-on-three power play advantage as Langenbrunner is going to sit down for tripping. Roll wagon is trying to go after the loose puck in the corner, and Langenbrunner got his stick caught up in his legs or in his waist and hauled him down. St. Thomas, four on three power play, already on top, one nothing, out shooting the Johnnies, five to two. They'll get another opportunity here against the top rated penalty kill unit in the MIAC. Bottoms, high slot, now right top circle for Wilcox. To Bottoms, the one timer, that was blocked out front defensively. Nice play there by Mike Hankey to knock that one down. Wilcox, top of the right circle, down low, back to Wilcox. Wilcox shoots, fires it wide of the mark, left side of the net. Bottoms on the far wall. Throws it behind the net for Harris. Had it poked away from him. Smolarov got to the loose puck and clears it out the center. Gets it to Hankey. Hankey fighting with Bottoms for the loose puck as it comes all the way back into the St. Thomas zone. Bottoms wins that battle and he'll skate it up ice. Bottoms through center. Gains the zone. Cuts to his right top of the circle in the offensive end. Throws it in the corner for Harris. Harris slides to his right to Wilcox. Another penalty coming. Wilcox, the one-timer, it rolled off the toe of his stick, but he got it back. And then he threw it back to Bottoms, but it cleared the zone. Delayed penalty coming once again as St. Thomas will just send it in on net. Hannah steers it to the far corner. Smolarop is waiting there. He'll finally touch the puck, and the whistle will sound. And St. Thomas is going to have uh, an extended power play here with this penalty coming at 9.54. And it's going to be Holmgren sitting down for St. John. So six penalties have been called in the first 9.54. And five of those six have gone against St. John's. As Holmgren sits out for slashing at 9.54. Tommy's on their third power play opportunity. For uh, the initial penalties, the coincidentals have just 10 seconds left. Kangas. To the left for Krumpetich, his shot kick saved by Hannah. The puck comes free at the side of the net, and the Johnnies cleared up into the seats and out of play. 
9.53 to play in the first period. St. Thomas on top, 1-0. A power play goal by Brandon Wilcox at 7.28. And they'll have the power play here for another two minutes and two seconds. The coincidental penalties are going to expire in two seconds. Those players will be allowed to come back on the ice, or at least Grunke will. Johnson will have to stay on the ice because as soon as his, or stay in the penalty box because as soon as his penalty time expires, the penalty to Holmgren will start. So Grunke will be allowed to exit, and that's the discussion going on down at the scorer's table, I'm guessing, right now. Now we'll get ready to drop the puck. So it's four on three for another 44, or for two seconds, and then it'll be five on three favoring St. Thomas for another 40. Now we're back to play, and the penalty times are over for those coincidentals. St. Thomas on a five on three man advantage. Nice job by St. John's Daryl Smoller off to keep the puck tied up in the corner. Tommy's break it free. Now they'll set up a high with John Bottoms between the circles. Right top of the circle now for Wilcox. To Bottoms, he tried to take a shot and he didn't get good wood on it and it fluttered over the top of the net. Now it comes back out to Bottoms, top of the left circle. To Wilcox, top of the right. Has a man on the doorstep. Harris with the one-time opportunity and he hit the side of the net. Wilcox at the dot. Back to Bottoms between the circles. 9.13 to go in the period, two seconds to go. Now Johnson is out, five on four for St. Thomas. Harris got a feet, tried to slide it through the crease to Krumpetich, and it goes all the way through to the wall. Wilcox, top of the right circle, to Bottoms. He's in the high slot, just inside the blue line to Wilcox. Back to Bottoms, a shot from the point, broken up by Bjorklund out front. Johnson picks up the puck and carries it out of the zone. Johnson into the zone, one on two. He's knocked off the plate, Krumpetich swoops in and starts it back the other way for St. Thomas. Into the zone on the left wing, gets around his man. Takes it into the corner, has it poked off his stick neatly by Zempel, but kept in left point side by Kangas. 42 seconds to go in the power play. Cross ice pass to the near wing for Harris. Back to Wilcox at the right point, looking for Krumpetich on the far side, and the puck is deflected up in and out of play off the netting in the far corner, so the whistle sounds. Just 32 seconds to go in Holmgren's slashing call, and we'll get back to full strength. St. Thomas having an opportunity with over two minutes of power play time. Still with 32 seconds to go with the man advantage. Fogner, Rolleg, and Greenlease, Weeham, and Kangas. Kept in left side now. Kangas slides to his right in the high slot, throws it at the net, got through, Hannah made the save. Rebound controlled by the Tommies. Back to the point, Kangas. To Fogner, top of the left circle. Winds up, centers it out front for Rollweg, and then William got a piece of it close in range, and he popped it over the top of the net. Kangas throws it down low from the right point. Greenlees pins his man along the wall. William has it, lost it. Back to Kangas just inside the blue. Tommies still control. Three seconds, two seconds to go on the power play. The Johnnies killed it off. What a momentum booster for St. John's for killing off all that power play time. And then a big hit after the play, and the helmet came off of one of the Tommy players, and so we're going to get a whistle. We'll take a timeout. 7.46 to go in the opener. Tommy's on top, 1-0 on AM 950. Aaron Mary. Two, you said? Five, two? Back to the National Hockey Center in St. Cloud. Tommy's on top, one nothing. Johnny's bringing it into the offensive zone. Aaron Getzel with a shot from the left faceoff circle. Gloved by Hennessy, and he'll freeze it and get the whistle. We'll pass along some more of the details a little bit later on, but we have learned, thanks to our producer, Tim Dennis, that the St. Thomas women's hockey team stays unbeaten in the MIAC. 5-2 win at home this afternoon over Augsburg. Jackie Foley, a couple of goals for the Tommies as they stay a point behind Gustavus in the MIAC women's conference race. Face off controlled by the Johnnies to the right of Hennessy. Shot taken by Holmgren. That was off of Kaiser into the far corner. Parento had it, threw it back down low for Luger. The puck comes back out towards the blue line. Krumpetich is able to sneak it out of the zone. 
Holmgren intercepts his cross-ice attempt, and Johnny's right back into the zone the other way. Parental throws it towards the net. His stick was tied up. Didn't get a very good shot off on that one, and the time is clear to the near wall. Kaiser chips it out to center. Dumped right back in. Johnny's tag up on the Doyd offside. They'll forecheck. Andy Edwards behind his own net. To the right wing side for Kaiser. Again, trying to flip it off the glass. Couldn't control that one. Pat Eagles has it in the corner for St. John. John Bottoms giving him pressure. Eagles centered it out in front. That was intercepted by Wilcox. Sent to the near wall, but the Johnny's putting some great forecheck pressure on right now. Sustaining things in the offensive zone for really the first time in the game. And Wilcox gets it, tries to clear the zone. Smoller off intercepted that. And now there's a play behind this at center ice. Krumpetich knocks Smoller off down at center ice, and the penalty's going to be whistled against St. Thomas. Into the zone. Parenta with a shot from the top of the circle. Kaiser touches it, and the whistle sounds, but Krumpetich is going to go for interference. The puck wasn't around him. He's disputing it a little bit with the officials. Puck wasn't around him. He's going to be whistled for interference. St. John's will go on the power play for the first time this evening. Last night, 0 for 5 with the man advantage were the Johnnies. They get the first look at their power play unit to the left of Hennessy. The base off goes, St. John's control. Smaller off at the right point. Quarterbacking from the high slot now on the left wing to Langenbrunner. Back to Smaller off to Langenbrunner. He goes cross ice to Bjorklin at the right dot. Back to Smaller off the one timer blocked out in front. Rollwagen got the full load of that one, and he's going to go off on a line change as the Tommies are able to clear the zone. That was point blank from about 10 feet away, and Rollwagen got the full blast of that. Johnny's back the other way into the offensive zone. Pass a bit too far for Eagles. Tommy's picked it up, cleared around to the near wall, but Yorkman got to it, then couldn't control it, and Cozine sends it down. 1.20 to go in the penalty to Krimpetich, 5.15 to go in the opening period. The Tommy's on top, 1-0 on a power play goal by Brandon Wilcox. Johnny's up the ice. Langenbrenner stops at the blue line, waits for help, slides it to his left to Smolaroff. Smoller off to Langenbrunner, winds up, shoots that rising shot, caught Hennessy in the top shoulder, but he was able to make the save, and the rebound controlled back behind the net. Langenbrunner left half. Down low for Parento. Parento looking for Eagles in the corner. That puck intercepted and sent down the ice by Edwards. And the Tommy's keeping fresh legs on the ice this entire power play. The third line change of this power play as the Johnnies move it up ice. Into the zone. Johnson has an ad out front. He just couldn't find him. Trying to find Zempel sneaking into the slot. Top of the left circle. Getzel with a shot. The rebound. Another bang at it by Johnson. And Hennessy freezes it and he'll hang on. Couple of good chances for the Johnnies right there with the power play. But Hennessy stands up. And he makes a couple of big saves, keeping that puck out of that still one up in St. Thomas. 428 to play in the opening period. 29 seconds left in the Krumpetich minor. And the faceoff coming to the right of Kevin Hennessy. The senior goaltender from Shoreview. 7-1 and 2 on the season. Johnny's control the faceoff. Throwing it into the corner, Ian Ross. Now Johnson, back to the left point for Getchel. Slides it to his right for Holmgren. To Getchel, his one-timer knocked down out front by Rollwagen. Good to see him back on the ice, and he'll spring Blummer out of the zone. Blummer on the left wing, throws it in from the top of the circle. Gloved by Hanny, he'll leave it at the side of the net for Getchel. Blummer steals it, sends it back out towards the blue line for Rollwagen as he intercepted the puck off of the stick of Zempel and sends a shot high over the net. Tommy's back to full strength as Krumpetich comes back. Johnny's 0 for 1 on their first chance. Rollwagen intercepts the puck just inside his own zone. Slides it to his right for Krumpetich into the zone. And Blummer was a step ahead of the play. It's 1-0 St. Thomas, 3.49 to go. We'll take a timeout. This is Tommy Hockey on AM 950, Air America, Minnesota. Thank 
Welcome back to the National Hockey Center. 340 to play in the opening period. The Tommies on top, 1-0 on a goal on the power play by Brandon Wilcox. Neutralized faceoff controlled by St. John's. Nate Mine slides it to Smoller off up ahead for Parento into the offensive zone. He'll dump. Grunke throws it to the corner. Parento chases it down, cycling through. Tried to send it out front. It rolled off the toe of his stick. Loose puck controlled by St. Thomas on the near wall in their defensive zone. Wilcox will leave it for Connor Fippen on the right half. He'll start the rush through center ice on the wing. Into the zone, he'll drop it off for Kaiser, a one-timer and a blocker pad saved by Hannah. Kaiser with a big windup and sent a laser in on Hannah. And he's got the right blocker pad on it, the glove blocker, and steered it to the corner. St. Thomas behind their own net, Kaiser with it to Fippen. Fippen being hassled though by Brady Lundblad and Grunke will have to come in and help out. He'll slide it behind the net to the near side. Wilcox looking to spring Krumpetich into the zone. Icing is waved off. Krumpetich is going to win the race to the puck. Smolarop has him wrapped up in the loose puck. Now picked up by Krumpetich on a giveaway. Behind the net. Oh, he had Wilcox but he fanned on the pass attempt. Puck laying at the side of the net. Picked up by Smolarop. Smolarop out to center. Into the skates of Hankey, he couldn't control it. Icing will be whistled here against St. John. With 220 minutes to play in this opening period, a period in which St. Thomas has scored the lone goal. Back at 728 of the frame. After the icing, the faceoff now bringing Trey back into the St. John zone to the right of goaltender Adam Hanna. Fogner to take the draw against Hankey. Fogner wins. Shot taken by Cozen. That missed the mark and Karen back out towards the blue line. Run down by Lundblad. He can't keep clear the zone, however, and it's sent in behind the Johnny Net. Fogner trying to fight off the puck. He's got it pinned along the wall, but Hankey skates in and steals it for the Johnnies. They'll start the rush on the left wing. Lundblad can't corral the pass off the stick of Zempel, and the Johnnies have to regroup back behind their own net again. Check, right wing. Harum's all the way out to center ice. Bottoms there. He'll fire it right back in for St. Thomas, and they'll put on the offensive pressure. Check behind his own net. Tried to go to the corner. Greenlee's nearly intercepted that. Zempel gets it. Moves it up on the left wing for Bjorklund. He tries to spring Getchel into the zone. A little bit too far for Aaron as he and William take it into the corner. And the puck comes free along the near wall. Greenlee's up ahead for Cozy. Left wing for Fogner. Fogner into the zone. Drops it for Cozy. Nice toe drag at the hash mark. Takes the shot right on the mark. Hannah with the save. Here's a centering pass for Williams sneaking in from the blue line. He takes it around behind the net. He'll throw it down low. Johnny's controlled back there. Move on the left wing to Getchell, who is knocked down from behind. The penalty going to be whistled here against Fogner. Once he touches it, he does. With 1.11 to go in the period. St. John's will have a power play for the remaining 1.11 of this period as Fogner will sit down. Going to be a charge. Brady, and the time of the penalty is going to be 18.49 of this first period. St. John's will go back on the power play. They did not connect on their first. This one will be split between this and the next period if the Johnnies do not capitalize here in the final 1.11 of the period. Yorkland, Parento, Eagles, Langenbrunner, and Smoller off the power play unit for the Johnnies. Bottoms, Edwards, Blumer, Blumer, excuse me, and Rollwagon for St. Thomas, the penalty killers. Rollwagon springs Blumer out of the zone. Blumer will retreat back towards his own blue line. Now he gives it up. Eagles inside the zone on the left faceoff circle. Takes it down low into the corner. Edwards pins him along the wall. Parento comes in for help. Back to the high slot for Smoller up. Now on the right wing side for Bjorklund. His shot on. Rebound controlled by the Johnnies. Yorkland at the right dot, now at the top of the circle, slides it down low for Eagle. 30 seconds to go in this opening period, Johnny's on the power play. Yorkland, top of the left circle for Smolarov, down low Langenbrunner right at the line. He tries to throw it up front for Bjorkland and he fanned on the one-timer. Behind the net, the Johnny's control, Langenbrunner left hash. Back low for Eagle, too far for him, off the end wall for, Lark, for Yorkland. And it's intercepted by Rollwagon, and he'll fire it down the ice, and that'll effectively end the period as Hannah touches it behind his own net with just four seconds to go. The Tommies escape the first 20 minutes with the lead after the power play.
And again, I want to remind you to stick with us through the second intermission. We'll talk to Johnny head coach John Harrington, a member of that 1980 gold medal winning Olympic hockey team from Lake Placid. As we, for the next week and a half, two weeks, we'll probably be hearing a little bit about some anniversaries of that gold medal winning team. Teams are lined up at the center circle. And I tell you, this crowd in this building for this game is fantastic. I'm guessing we've got 3,500 to 4,000 people in this place for this game tonight. And it's real electric, as you can hear in the background. Buckers drop the run away with period number two. The Johnnies on the power play. St. Thomas controls out of their own zone. Clearing attempt by Edwards. Knocked down out front by Bjorkman. He'll take it to the near wall. Parento takes a shot along the cage. Or along the wall, excuse me. To Smoller off in the high slot at the blue line. He shoots, it gets all the way through to Hennessy, and he gloves it and gets the whistle right out in front of the net. A little bit of traffic out in front of him, but Hennessy was able to see that one coming in from Smoller off about six, seven feet inside the blue line. And he'll freeze the puck and get the whistle. 19 seconds into the second period, 30 seconds to go in the Johnny Power play, and the faceoff coming to Hennessy's right. Tommy's control. Kyler Kangas will skate around behind his own net, being hassled by Parento. Sneaking in, left side, Langenbrunner throws it down low for Eagles behind the net. He's pinned along the end wall. Bjorkland gets it now near corner for the Johnnies at the half. Back to Smoller off to Bjorkland, top of the right circle. To Smoller off, Bjorkland, down low Eagles. Tried to send it out front looking for Parento, off his skate onto the stick of Bjorkland, top of the right circle again. Smoller off, high slot. Langenbrunner left dot. Penalty to Fogner is over. Smolarov sends it in right on the toe. Hennessy gets a piece of it, and Eagles was standing right there. Couldn't get a stick on it. Johnny's 0 for 2 on the power play. Back to 5-on-5 five five hockey with a minute gone in the, over in the second period. Tommies will set up the breakout from behind their own net. William has it. He'll skate out from behind the cage, and he'll slide it up ahead. Angus has it, crosses the checkered stripe, dumps it into the offensive zone. Blummer with speed into the zone, was pinned along the wall and lost it. Puck is played, it's in the skate of Fogner. It was hung up in his jersey momentarily. He lost it, and it was just enough for the Johnnies to be able to get a stick on it and poke it back out to center. Back the other way, the Tommies come in the midst of a line change. Blummer going off, Kaiser coming on. Kaiser smartly jumped over the puck and didn't touch it, avoiding the too many men call. But the Tommies whistle for an icing and the faceoff will come back to the left of Kevin Hennessy in the Tommy zone. one nothing Tommies, first period power play goal at 7.28. And now the Johnnies attempting a late line change. The officiating crew says it's too late, you're going back. And now we'll do the faceoff. Lundblad to take the draw for the Johnnies. It's controlled by St. Thomas. Grunke throws it to the right side. Kaiser got twisted around. Couldn't catch up with it along the wall. Lundblad now in the corner for St. John's. He throws it on net from pretty much even with the goal crease. And then it's shipped up and out of the playing surface over the plexiglass into the St. John's student section. And one young man down there pretty excited for the souvenir. Face off back in the St. Thomas zone, top of the circle, near side, 18-13 to play in the second. Johnny's control, Holmgren sends one towards the net. That was knocked down by Kaiser. The Tommies clear it back out to center. Holmgren dumps it right back in the offensive zone. Drunky from behind his own net. He'll set up the breakout. Waiting for players to maneuver. Wilcox will trade sides of the ice with, with Pippen and go back. Wilcox gets the pass. Everything's all messed up. Tommy's can't get it out of the zone. And it's back out the center ice, but the Johnny's brought it back in on a delayed offside, and the whistle sounds. And the faceoff comes back out to center ice. Right in front of the St. John's bench on the opposite side of the rink from where I sit, high atop the ice surface here at the National Hockey Center in St. Cloud. one nothing St. Thomas. Faceoff coming at neutral ice, 17.47 to play in the middle period. Johnny's control and dump it in. Right onto the stick of John Bottoms. He'll flip it off the glass out to center. Trying to connect with Fogner. That goes awry. Bottoms gets it back. Fogner gets it back at the blue line. Had it poked off his stick. Poked back in by Cozy. But the Johnny's transition to the far side. And Holmgren will move it up ice. Holmgren gains his own at the blue line. Takes a shot. Hits a couple of skates. Tommy's back the other way. Left wing side. Cozy into the zone. He'll throw it into the corner and forecheck. Door had it, plays it up on the right side now for Langenbrunner. Langenbrunner clears the zone. Bottom.
got him from just inside the red line. Slaps it back in. Caroms around behind the net to Holmgren on the left hash. Holmgren defensively behind his own net. Up to Langenbrunner at center. Langenbrunner going to the left wing, into the zone. Backhands it deep in the corner. Chased down by Bottoms of St. Thomas. He's pinned along the wall by Getchell. Yorkland has it. Tried to center. Intercepted. Tommy's back the other way. To the red line they go. Greenlee dumps it into the offensive end. Tommy's will change everybody out on the ice, and that'll give the Johnnies a chance to clear it to center. Tipped into the offensive zone by Hankey. Levar for checking. Chases the puck down, but dropped his stick and had to retreat to get it. Tommy's have it right wing side. Wilcox chips it out to center. It bounces over the stick of the defenseman Zemple. The Tommy's whistle for an icing, and the faceoff will come back into St. Thomas end with 16.27 to play in the second period. Tommy's on top, 1-0 in this pivotal MIAC men's conference game. St. John's wins. Goes a long way towards them getting the conference regular season title. St. Thomas wins. They control their own destiny with two extra games left in the conference on their schedule. Through center ice, the Tommy's come. Into the zone. Kaiser makes a nice move and then gets tied up and goes down as the puck goes into the corner. Chased down on the left wing by Krumpetich. Slides it lower for Kaiser. He'll flip it into the corner. Wilcox from behind the net. Centers it looking for Kaiser. The pass tipped away just as Kaiser got to it. And the Johnnies clear it to center. Kangas from his own blue line. Up ahead into the zone, Krumpetich. Left wing side, Wilcox a slapper, and Hannah makes the glove save, and he gets the whistle. Wilcox with a slapper from the top of the circle coming into the zone. Hannah saw it all the way, really didn't have much problem with that one at all as he gloves it. Feels some pressure, so he hangs on to get the whistle, and the face off will come to his right with 16.53 to play in the second. We haven't seen the real open style tonight like we did in the second and third periods last night in Mendota Heights. Tommy's out shooting the Johnnies, 15-7. Held a 14-5 edge after the first period. Good defensive hockey for the most part so far tonight in the first 25 minutes of play or so. Johnny's in the offensive zone. It's pinned up along the end wall. Billy Luger trying to skate free. Connor Pippen has him pinned in the corner. Eagle skates in, gets it. He's rubbed out by Grunke. Luger follows up. He centers it out in front, but right onto the stick of one of the Tommy defensive forwards, Kevin Rollwagon, and back the other way comes St. Thomas. 3-3 into the zone. Blummer on the left wing at the dot. Takes it low, centers it out in front. Rollwagon just tipped it wide. Blummer fed Rollwagon right in the slot, but he just missed it wide to the right side of the net. Grunke left point, shot. Harris got a tip out front, but he got hung up in his skates and never got a good shot. Grunky from the left point, down into the corner now for Harris. Harris got spun around, lost the puck. Eagles leaves it on the right wing side for Parento. But Parento lost control of it. Johnny's get it back. Luger has Parento. If he can find him into the zone, no ice or no offside, nearly an icing. Hennessy plays it at the side of his net, and the Tommies right back the other way through center. Grunky, right wing, intercepted. Lundblad dumps it into the offensive end. Pippen has it from behind the net. Now he'll wait for everybody to set up for the breakout. 14.30 to play second period. Pippen on the left wing breakout for Rollwagon. Rollwagon saw the check coming, lost the puck. Johnson flips it high into the air towards the net. Hennessy comes 10 feet out in front of his net, gloves it, and gets a whistle. 14.17 to go in the second period. A couple of good opportunities for the Tommies on the last rush into the offensive zone. As they hang on to their 1-0 lead, no scoring here in the second period. The faceoff coming ahead to the left of Kevin Hennessy inside the St. Thomas zone. Controlled by the Tommies, coming right off the faceoff, moving it up ice, it's Ryan. Ryan slides it back to Edwards, who makes a nice move and gets around Ian Ross and dumps it into the offensive zone. Now in the near corner, the hitting picking up a little bit. Hankey has it in the corner, has it poked off his stick. Ryan trying to chase it down on the far side. He's pinned along the boards by Holmgren. Loose puck picked up by Hankey. Hankey right wing, Dorr. Dorr chips it up and out of the zone, but Bottoms is there for St. Thomas, sends it right back in. Holmgren gloves it, slides it to Hankey. Left wing side into the offensive zone. Levar, top of the circle, shoots, blocked by Bottoms, the defender covering on the play, and the puck goes into the corner. Ryan Haynes skates behind the net to the near side. Edwards back to Bottoms now behind the net. 
Bottoms will circle behind his own net, looking for a left wing outlet. Ryan couldn't corral it, and the Johnnies dump it deep. Bottoms throws it behind his net for his defensive partner, Edwards. He'll go right wing side for Panchenko. Panchenko will carry it through center ice, three on three. Into the zone, his line mates bail on him for a line change. He sends it towards the net, and it tips over the top. Krumpetich with a one-timer right off the bench from the top of the circle, high and wide. Out of the corner, door flips it out to center ice. He was looking to try and send Getchell on a long pass, but a hand pass whistled against St. Thomas, and we'll take a timeout. 12.56 to play in the second. Tommy's up 1-0 on AM 950, Air America, Minnesota. Keep the commercials during the period itself to 30 seconds from this point forward. I'd appreciate it, all right? That's okay. That's okay. Back at the National Hockey Center, St. Thomas with the puck in the offensive zone. Losing control of it momentarily. He's thrown back around behind the net, played by Mainz. He gives it up. Centering pass by Fogner was broken up. And Parento along the left wing brings it back out through center before he's rubbed off the play. And the Tommies control just inside their own blue line. Long pass ahead to Greenlee, at the opposite blue. That's intercepted by Smolaroff. He starts the Tommies, or excuse me, the Johnnies back the other way. And Hennessy will leave it behind his own net on the far side. Pippen, outlet pass, left wing side, Bogner into the zone. Bogner tripped up by Mainz as he goes to the net. More of a fall by Bogner than a trip by Mainz. As the puck comes back out to the blue line, kept in, played with a high stick. Not going to matter, though. St. Thomas controls possession. Roll wagon centers it, trying to look for the streaking winger Blummer coming into the zone, but it was intercepted by Eagle standing out in front of the net. He crosses the red line and dumps it into the offensive zone. Tommy Hockey on AM 950, KTNF, St. Louis Park, Minneapolis, St. Paul. Pat London at the National Hockey Center. Tim Dennis and Amy Thompson back in the KTNF studios, pushing all the buttons this evening as we bring you Tommy Hockey from the National Hockey Center in St. Cloud. 1-0 St. Thomas, 10-23 to play second period. Tommy's trying to bring it out of their own zone and dump it into the bench, and we get a whistle with 10.22 to play in the second period. Earlier today, St. Thomas women, 5-3 winners over Augsburg, completing a weekend sweep over the Augies in the MIAC women's race. The Tommies, assuming Gustavus got by St. Catherine, a team they beat 13-0 last night. It's pretty safe to assume they won their game today. Tommies still one point behind the Gusties as they have been all season long in that race for the MIAC women's title. Tommy's from back in their own end, now looking to break out. Johnson's long pass, too far for everybody. The Johnny's whistle, poor and icing, and the faceoff will come back in the St. John's end with 10.03 to play in the second period. Faceoff coming to the right of Adam Hanna. 
number one goaltender in the nation. Goals against average coming into this evening's game of 1.44. That's best in the league and the country. 945 saves percentage, also number one. Right off the drop, Lummer tries to take a shot. That hit traffic. Tommy's control in the corner momentarily. That's picked up by the Johnnies. Not cleared, however. Rollwagon tried to take it to the net. He was knocked off the puck. And Getzel back the other way on the left wing. Through center into the zone. Shot from the high slot. Whistle it high and wide off the plexiglass. Tried to go upstairs on Hennessy's stick side, but just missed the mark. Behind the net, William for St. Thomas. Left wing for Harris. Harris up through center to Rollwagon. Tried to connect with Blummer, who has a penchant for sneaking away and getting ahead of everybody to try and get that long pass through center. Blummer tips it over to Rollwagon, but that goes awry, and the Johnnies dump it back into the offensive zone. Hennessy behind his own net will throw it into the corner. It'll tear him up on the left wing for Harris. He goes cross-ice for Blummer into the zone two-on-two. Two. Blummer with Rollwagon. Blummer at the center, at the dot, throws it in front. Rollwagon got the tip. Hannah made the save, and the rebound standing out in the slot controlled by the Johnny. Back the other way, Ross with a shot from the top of the circle. Didn't get good wood on that as it hit the defense in front. Kept in right point by Check. Ross, top of the right circle, chips it towards the net. Somehow it got through to Hennessy, and he gloves it and gets a whistle. Well, that wasn't the greatest shot or the greatest opportunity, but it turned into one as the puck kind of bounced and rolled towards the net of Kevin Hennessy. And he went down and covered things low, and the puck rolled into him, and Hennessy made the save. And he'll get the face off to his left with 8.52 to play in the second period. Number two line. Pat Eagles centering Billy Luger and Casey Parento. Parento's actually taking the draw. He's got Eagles flanked on the wing. Eagles with the puck right at the dot. Lost it. Krumpetich picks it up and starts it back the other way. Hacked out by Eagles. Penalty's going to be called here against St. John's. Eagles going to go to the box. Tommy's walking in. Krumpetich. He centered it. Oh, he has Kaiser and he scores! Well, they're not going to get credit for the power play goal. But Kaiser is going to get the puck because that's Kaiser's first goal as a Tommy, and it comes at 11.25 of the second period. He got the feed from Krumpetich. As Krumpetich took the puck in his defensive zone and moved it up ice, he slid it to Kaiser in the slot. I think Hanna may have gotten the first piece, and it got by him. But regardless, Kaiser's going to get the goal. It's 2-0 St. Thomas with 8.35 to play in the second period. Krumpetich will get one assist on Kaiser's first goal as a Tommy. Now there's some discussion going on at the penalty box on the near side. Now we're ready to go. And the neutralized space off controlled by the Johnnies. Mainz dumps it into the offensive zone. Behind the net. Kaiser from Krumpetich and Wilcox for St. Thomas. So they get the goal and now extend the lead to two to nothing. As they bring it through center, Ryan Hayne into the zone at the left dot, poked away by Smolarov into the corner. Tanchenko in to help out. He's pinned along the wall. And the puck goes freely behind the St. John's net to the far side. Pippen stepping in from the right point, keeps it down low. Nate Ryan in deep, has it along the end wall, trying to break free. He does. Skates out towards the blue line, throws it in the corner for Panchenko. Panchenko's pinned along the wall by Hanke. Panchenko gets free, loses an edge and goes down, and the Johnnies clear it behind the net to the near side. Grunke pinches in from the left point to keep it deep. Played now by Nate Mainz up on the right wing to Levar. Levar trying to flip it through center, played by the high stick of Grunke, and a whistle sounds. And we'll get the stoppage with 7.32 to play in the second. 2-0 St. Thomas. Brandon Wilcox now has two points, as does Dan Krumpetich. The second one for both of those young men coming on Matt Kaiser's first collegiate goal for St. Thomas at 11.25. Face off to the left of Hennessy after the high sticking call by off the stick of Grunke. Smolarov keeps it in at the right point. Getchell is pinned up along the wall looking for some help from Bjorkland. Each team with a couple of players trying to dig the puck free. The time he's coming away with it. Krumpetich left wing through center. Has Kangas with him into the zone. Shoots from the high slot off the skate of Mainz into the near corner. Kept in at the left point now by Weem. 
Williams sends it towards the net. Bjorklund intercepts and starts it back the other way along the left wing through center. Cuts over at the top of the circle. Tried to find a line mate but in Getchel, but that was intercepted. The Tommy's back the other way. Krumpetit drops it off for Kaiser at the dot. He centers it for Wilcox. His one-timer, not hard, but just wide of the mark. Wilcox didn't get great wood on that one and just missed the mark on the glove side of goaltender Adam Hanna. Johnny's back through center rice. Buck is knocked down along the near wall, sent back out to the red line. Smoller off had it, sent it back, and then it was kicked beyond him back into the St. John's zone. Mines deep to play it, up to Getchell at center. That pass intercepted, puck high in the sky, just inside the blue line, turnaround slapper by St. Thomas as Harris is wide of the mark into the corner. Greenleaf for Harris, tried to center, looking for Fogner, that was intercepted. Mines with it now for St. John's and starts it up ice. Crosses the checkered stripe along the right wall and dumps it into the offensive zone. 6.05 to play here, second period. St. Thomas leading 2-0. They fell last night at home 3-2 to the same Johnny team. Rated number three in the country coming into this evening. Holmgren with it behind his own net. Up to the blue line, kept in, however, by Faulkner. He backhands it in. Hannon will glove and hang on, and we get the whistle, and we'll take a timeout. 5.47 to play, second period. 2-0 St. Thomas back in 30 seconds on Air America, Minnesota. National Hockey Center. Tommy's on top, 2-0. Under 5.5 to play second period. Blummer into the offensive zone. Takes the shot from the right dot. Hannah the save. Had trouble as the rebound came free. He does get the whistle, freezing the puck, however. And I believe as the whistle sounded, a couple of players going down. The referee pointed as if he was going to call a penalty, and he is. The Tommy's are going to go back on the power play. Holmgren is going to sit down. 14.43 of the period, a roughing call to Holmgren, and St. Thomas is going to go back on the power play. St. Thomas one for four on the night, all back in the first period. This is the first opportunity with the man advantage. And they'll bring Wilcox, Blummer, Krumpetich, Harris, and Bottoms out for this power play. Hanky, check, smaller off, and Eagles four killer, killers for John Harrington's Johnnies. Bottoms, high slot. Slides it to his right, now gets it back. Has Krumpetich at the left dot. Wilcox, top of the right circle. Sends it towards the net, blocked by Eagles, but kept into the zone by Wilcox as he chases it down along the far wall. Harris in to help him out. Harris has it, top of the circle, right along the wall. Now sets up. Back to the right point. Wilcox. Top of the circle, looking, looking, throws it towards the net, it's in the air. Smoller off, gloves it, and then jumps on it and hangs on, and we get a whistle. And Blummer and Check exchanging pleasantries out in front. Good battle out in front of the net. I caught my eye one time when they were getting at it with each other pretty good. Blummer battling for position out front. Of course, Check trying to move him out of the slot. 125 to go in the home grin penalty. And in the Tommy power play. Face off to the left of Hanna. Face off controlled by St. Thomas. Bottoms at the right point. Sliding to his left in the high slot. To Wilcox, top of the right circle. Bottom sends it in. A backhand attack. Oh, and it's saved by Hanna. And then the rebound by Harris. He couldn't flip it over Hanna as he was down. Hanna with that right leg got over and just stuffed Krumpetich. Here's a shot from the point. Bottoms, Hannah steers that to the corner. Blummer near hash mark. Harris had to go off for a new stick. Bottoms again a shot from the point. That hit traffic. Greenlees kicks it wide of the net. Check turns and fires it down the ice. Great opportunity for St. Thomas there. Adam Hanna made the biggest save of the night. Four minutes to play in the period. 42 in the power play. Wilcox moving up ice. Feeling some pressure from Billy Luger. They'll go cross ice now and try and bring it up on the right side. Luger again giving him problems. High stick call coming to Luger. He got him in the face with the stick. 
We'll take a timeout. 3.47 to play in the second. Tommy's up five on three when we return in 30 seconds on Air America, Minnesota. on a five-on-three power play as we return to the National Hockey Center. For another 25 seconds, they'll have a five-on-three. Rollwagon, top of the right circle to Kangas, to Rollwagon, back to Kangas, top of the left circle. Already on top, two-nothing, looking to add to it. Fogner, back to Kangas, he shoots. That hits a stick and goes wide. Fogner chases it down near corner. Back to Kangas, top of the left circle. Right side, Rollwagon, looking, sliding to his left. Now down low, back to Rollwagon, high slot, shoots, that was blocked by the defense. Hanky out in front, knocked that one down. Kept in, Holmgren with a, or Holmgren comes out of the penalty box, excuse me, his penalty is expired. Shot taken, knocked down out front on a great save by Hannah. Tommy still on the power play for another 118 as we approach three minutes to play here in the second period. Tommy's up two nothing into the zone on the power play. Roll wagon, takes it deep, around behind the net. Feeling some pressure, Fogner left hash has it. Fogner. Looking for somewhere to move. Now down low, Greenlease. Fogner left faceoff dot once again. Back down low to Greenlease. To Fogner. The puck was tipped over the stick of Fogner, however, and it comes all the way back into the Tommy zone. Kangas back. Langenbrunner giving him some pressure. Tommy's back the other way. Cross ice pass intended for Fogner behind him, and the Tommies have to regroup at center. Picked up by Blummer. Now brought into the zone on the right wing side. Blummer trying to cut to the net. Goes around behind the net. Looking for someone to move it to. Now at the top of the left circle. Dropped it off for Bottoms. It was intercepted. Here's a breakaway for Langenbrunner coming into the zone. Bottoms gets back. Langenbrunner the shot. Hennessy the save. And he hangs on and gets the whistle. Langenbrunner with a breakaway from nearly his own blue line. But Bottoms with some speed caught up to him. Langenbrunner didn't get a great shot off. Hennessy made the save and then hung on to it to get the whistle. And the faceoff will come to his left. The Tommy's still on the power play for another 20 seconds, leading 2-0 with 2.07 to play in the second. Sam Dor, Eagles, Parento, Holmgren for the Johnnies on the ice presently. Wilcox, Krumpetich, Blummer, Bottoms, and Wheel. Up the ice they come. Into the zone, Wilcox in the left wing. Wilcox takes it behind the net. Centers it out in front. Had Krumpetich with the passes and escapes. Krumpetich takes another shot. Rebound controlled by Dan behind the net. Johnny's back to full strength. Kaiser on the near wing. Can't catch up with the pass. And Luger has it onto the penalty box as he moves it up ice. Center ice he comes. Dipsy doodling through center. Drops it off. Shot taken. Just wide of the mark by Sam Doerr. And it carries all the way back out to center ice. Big hit by Holmgren on Krumpetich right in front of the Johnny student section. And Pat Eagle picks up the puck at the Tommy blue line and spins and tries to send it across. Here's a giveaway. Luger down low, centers it. Eagle's a shot. He scores! <laughs> 18.46 of the second period. Pat Eagle jumps on one in the slot. Puts it behind Kevin Hennessy for his second goal of the series. His 11th goal of the season. A freshman from Falcon Heights, Pat Eagle, the number one scoring freshman in the LIAC, gets the Johnnies on the board. It's 2-1 now with 1.14 to play in the second period. The Tommies with a five-on-three power play for 40 seconds. That translated into a five on four for a minute and a half or so, and they were unable to get one. And now the Johnnies, kill, after killing that off, get on the board for the first time. Now with a little momentum in the crowd on their back. Into the zone comes St. John's. Blake Williams on the right wing. Now low for Brooklyn in the corner. He centers off Hennessy. A shot taken right on the door, set by Getchel, and that hit the side of the net. Smolaroff is going to get an assist as well as Luger on Eagles' 11th goal of 
the season. The Johnnies strike with a minute 12 to play, or a minute 14 to play. It's 2-1 St. Thomas. St. John's putting offensive pressure on now, a little momentum after getting that goal, and the Tommies put the high end of the year back out to center ice, 20 seconds to play in the period. Near wing, Getchell. Flips it into the offensive zone. Bjorklund chases it down. Right dot looking to shoot and hit the leg of the defenseman out in front. Connor Fippen and goes behind the net. Here's a centering pass. Fippen intercepts that. Flips that high in the air with four seconds to play in the period. Check from the blue line. Flutters a shot in wide of the mark and that'll end the second period. Each team scoring once. 40 minutes are in the book. St. Thomas two. St. John's one. We're back to talk to St. John's head coach, John Harrington, about the 1980 gold medal winning Olympic hockey team when we return to the National Hockey Center at AM 950, Air America, Minnesota. Proves to be about as important a period of hockey for the Tommies as we've had all season long. They need to split this weekend to control their own destiny the rest of their way. If they win tonight and win out, they can win the MIAC regular season title. Without any help, they can do it by themselves. St. John's has won it back in their hands, and they're 20 minutes away from making a big step towards that direction. We've switched ends, we're ready to go. Goals in the first period, goal in the first period. Brandon Wilcox for St. Thomas. Matt Kaiser followed up in the second before Pat Eagles got one for the Johnnies. We'll start the period five on five with 20 minutes to play in regulation time here at the National Hockey Center in front of the crowd of about 3,200 strong here on the campus of St. Cloud State. Division one action at Mariucci Arena. The Gophers leading University of Alaska Anchorage in the second intermission, four to two. And we're underway in period number three here. Kaiser with a shot just inside the blue line, right on. Hannah with the save, the rebound controlled by the Johnnies. Right wing side, Johnnies trying to get it out of the zone. They can just barely do as it was off the skate of Wilcox, but chip right back in. Comes to get the dot, shoots, glove save, Hannah hit it. Into the glove and hang on for the whistle. Quick snapshot there by Krumpetich as he brought it into the zone. Gets the shot on goal, but Hannah makes the save. And the faceoff will come to the right of Adam. 22 seconds into period three. And the faceoff coming inside the Johnny zone. Controlled by St. Thomas right off the draw. Shot taken by Blummer over the top of the net. Blummer joining the 100-point club in last night as the puck was sent back in. We're going to get a penalty here. And it's going to go against the Tommies. 29 seconds into the period. And a roughing call whistled against St. Thomas is Nick Harris. And the Johnnies will go back on the power play. On the night, the Johnnies 0 for 2. And trailing by one, this is a good opportunity in the early part of the third period to try and ink the equalizer for St. Thomas as they control the face up. Contact to the helmet rough and technically. St. John's breaks it through center ice on the power play. Parento, left wing side, takes it deep into the corner. Has Bjorklund with him. Bucky pinned up along the wall. Blummer doing a nice job of controlling it. 
Now Parento steals it, sends it back to Langenbrunner towards the point. To Smoller up, high slot to Langenbrunner, top of the left circle. Smoller up, quarterbacking, just inside the blue line, right in the middle of the ice. Langenbrunner, the one-timer, he scores! Well, that didn't take long. Jeremy Langenbrunner got the feed at the top of the left circle from Daryl Smolarov, and he fired it high to the glove side over the shoulder of Kevin Hennessy, and the Johnnies have equalized this one at two. Just 104 into the period on the power play goal by Jamie Langenbrunner, his 10th of the season. And the Johnnies now one for three with the man advantage. 2-2 tie, now it gets very interesting here. As the Tommies control deep in their own zone. And the brothers 10th of the season. Then Daryl Smolarov, a shot taken from the left lane by Holmgren, and puck just at the side of the net. Scott Yorkland is also going to get an assist. As the Tommies bring it into the offensive zone, posing fans on a shot from the right lane. Holmgren plays it behind the net to the right-wing side for the Johnnies as they come out of the zone. Shot taken by Blake Williams, tipped wide of the mark. Picked up by Hanky just inside the left blue line. He'll throw it behind the net. Bottoms had it. He's pinned along the wall by Brady Lundblad, and the Tommies will control it and bring it out of the zone. Colin Green is up the right-wing side. He'll flip it in from the red line on Hannah. White pad will steer it to the corner. Bjorklund cross ice near side for Getchell at the Tommy blue line. Getchell stopping. Drops it off for Lang and Vernon. Gives it back to Getzel, who shoots from just inside the blue and whistles it wide of the mark. Johnny's control it, dump it back behind the net. Lang and Brunner in the corner. Tried to send it out front for Getzel. He gets it to Bjorklund, who has a point blank shot. The puck is still free, and then Hennessy freezes it. Well, that goal certainly sparked the Johnnies, and they had another great opportunity right there. But Hennessy freezes it just as Matt Check is diving in from the blue line, trying to poke in a loose puck. 2-2 to score, 17-37 to play in regulation. There's 2-1 entering this period, but the Tommies get one. Or excuse me, the Johnnies got one on the power play, just 104 in. Based off to the right of Hennessy now. Controlled by St. Thomas. Now St. John's takes it. Shot taken from the left point. Zeppel knocked down. Bjorkland in the slot. Tries it to catch it. Kicks it back to Bjorkland and he scores! passing in front of the net right there. And the Johnnies take their first lead of the night now by a score of 3-2. to two. Yorkland's going to get the goal. His second point in a minute and 28 seconds. Getchell will get an assist. And I believe Langenbrunner will get the other assist. We'll wait for the official call. The goal coming at 2.32, and the Johnny's on top by a score of 3-2. to two. Inside the St. Thomas zone, controlled by the Tommy. Harris, up ahead to Roy Wagon. Into the zone, two on one. At the dot to Blomer, and Blomer scores! Well, now things have really opened up. Anthony Blummer turns around and gets the feed from Roll Wagon and puts it behind Hannah, and it's now 3-3 with this goal coming at 250. Wow. I'm going to try and get the assist on this, the second assist for the Johnnies on the Bjorkland goal from Getchell. And then we'll get the call on Blummer's goal. For Blummer, that's his ninth of the season. Okay, Langenbrunner did get the second assist on that one, and Blummer got the goal from Rollwagon. Tough to keep up when goals are scored 22 seconds apart. Johnny's take a shot just wide of the mark. St. Thomas controls in their own end. Blummer on the wing. Blummer got a nice feed from Rollwagon. And the second assist is going to go to Connor Pippen. 
As the Tommies bring it out of their own zone and send back to neutralize, Mainz will dump it right back in. All right, at 2.32, Scott Bjorklund got the goal for St. John's. His ninth of the season from Getchell and Langenbrunner. And then just 22 seconds later after St. John's had grabbed the lead, here's Blummer with a shot from just inside the blue line, blocked by the defense, and back the other way from the Johnnies. At 250, Blummer, his ninth from Rollwagen and Fiffin on the Tommy goal. It's 3-3. Three three. Here's a shot from point blank range. Luger was stuffed by Hennessy. Brady Fogner will bring it back out of the zone now on the left wing. Through center ice, waiting for the line change to complete to get some help. He came along the wall on the near side. One lad has it, tried a cross ice pass, but it was kicked away by Adam Cozy. And the puck back at the Tommy Blue line, controlled and then dumped out of play. We got time to take a timeout. 15 55 to play in the third. 3 3 back in a moment on AM 950, Air America, Minnesota. Hockey Center in St. Cloud, 3-3, 15-46 to play. The Tommies will just whistle for an icing. So the faceoff will come back in the St. Thomas end to the left of Kevin Hennessy. It's Terry Strypek altering his line change here a little bit. The official going over and telling him he can't make that last change. One, you're not the home team. And two, my arm was already raised, the referee saying. So Cozine will take the draw against Bjorklund. Langenbrunner sends one towards the net. That trickles wide of the cage. Liam will play it on the near wing now for Greenlease. And Greenlease sends it back out to center ice. Tommy's right back the other way. Door ahead for Bjorklund. Bjorklund into the zone. High slot. Shoot. Misses it wide of the mark. I think it was tipped into the corner. But comes free on the side wall. Bjorklund has it. Left dot. Shoot. Pad save. Hennessy. He'll hang on and get the whistle. And one of the Johnny players was dumped out in front of the net after the whistle sounds. We're not going to get a call out of that. 15-21 to play in the third. It's been a wild beginning to the third period. Three goals in a matter of a minute 45. Started by Jamie Langenbrunner on the power play for St. John's. That tied it at two. That was his tenth from Daryl Smolaroff. Then Scott Bjorklund and Aaron Getchell traded pucks back and forth. Bjorklund gets the goal from Langenbrunner and Getchell at 2.32. And the time he's come right back at 2.50, Anthony Blummer got a feed from Rollwagon and put it behind Hannah. Connor Pippen also assisting on that one. It's 3-3 now with 15-12 to play in the third. Johnny's dumping into the offensive zone. Hennessy left it back there for Grunke. Now Wilcox skates in to help out, and he'll send it out to neutral. He was looking to slide it to Pippen, but it went off a leg out to center. Johnny's dumping it right back in. Hennessy back there to stop it. Grunke on the near side, flips it off the glass out to the blue line, kept in Zempel, his shot blocked, and it's picked up by Krumpetic. Right wing for Wilcox into the zone, drops it off for Kaiser. Kaiser takes it deep, low angle shot on net, Hannah makes the save, steered it out into the slot. The Johnny's had it, but Kaiser steals it. Kaiser out of the corner, Krumpetic shoots, that was high. And it went out of play or off the netting. And at the same time, Hannah kicked the net off too, so that became dislodged. 14.33 to go. We'll get a face off inside the St. John's end to the left of Adam Hanna. Wilcox, Krumpetich, and Kaiser. Kaiser playing in his second game. Got his first goal of the game of, the, of his career already. Very impressive. St. Thomas fans, if you haven't seen this kid play in the last two nights, make sure you get out to see him. He's a good one. He's a freshman from Bloomington. Played on that NTDP team in Ann Arbor. Joined the Tommies at the semester break and has contributed in the only a second game already. Through center ice, Edwards looking for Krumpetich on a breakout pass, but that goes awry and all the way down the ice. Whistle for an icing. We'll bring it back in the Tommy end to the right of Hennessy. Tommy women winners today, 5-3 over Augsburg. Jackie Foley, two goals. Melanie Drake, a goal and an assist. If Kevin Gorg is gone with the same rotation, Katie Jetland would be the winner in the Nets. Becky Kilpatrick got her fifth shutout of the season yesterday in a 2-0 Tommy win. 
So they maintain their second place standing in the MIAC women's race. Hand pass called here as the Johnnies tried to move it towards the net. We'll get another face off. This time coming outside the zone on the hand pass call. The Tommies staying one point behind Gustavus. 13-0-1 in conference play. Those two teams will play each other in two weeks. Johnnies win the neutralized face off to dump it into the Tommy end. John Bottoms behind his own net, feeling some pressure from Ross. The puck nearly came out to the front of the net, right next to it, but kicked back behind, and the Tommies will set it up in the left corner. Nate Ryan up ahead to Ryan Hayne. Two on three, trying to gain the zone. Took the hip check, but maintains control of the puck. Had it to Panchenko at the low circle. Panchenko was dumped, and the puck goes into the near corner. Andy Johnson spins and moves it up on the left wing for Ross, but it's kept in by the Tommies. Thrown into the corner, it'll carry him around behind the net to the far side. Mines will play it there. His outlet intercepted by Ryan. To Hain in the slot, but his stick was lifted just as he got the pass. Nice defensive play there by Ian Ross. Panchenko center. Had Ryan, couldn't connect. Back the other way from the Tommies. Ross through center. Knocked off the puck and then knocked down and then fell into the zone offside. A delayed offside coming, so the Tommies able to bring it out. Panchenko couldn't tip it into the zone. Kangas moves it up to Ryan. Ryan gets it to the blue line. Over to Panchenko, he's dumped by Holmgren, and back the other way go the Johnnies. Into the zone, Langenbrunner. Langenbrunner, a shot from the high slot that hit a skate and went wide. Near wall, Rollwagon. Got it to center. Now tried to move it back the other way. It was intercepted, and the Johnnies dump it back into the Tommy zone. Angus from behind his own net. Knocked off the play. His momentum was stopped enough for Bjorklund to take the puck. Throws it down low for Langenbrunner. He gets it to Getcho in the corner. Cycling through Bjorklund to Langenbrunner. He fanned on the pass in the slot. A backhander from the left circle. By door goes wide of the mark. Bjorklund skates in and takes it. Circles back towards the blue line. Now in the slot. Backhander on net. Rebound controlled by the Tommies. And sent out of the zone and all the way down the ice. And icing will be called and will take a timeout. 12-14 to go in the third. Tied at three. Tommy Hockey on AM 950 here in America, Minnesota. As we went to break, we're turning to the National Hockey Center. Aaron Getchell of St. John's whistled for a high sticking penalty. Tommy's on their seventh power play, bringing it into the offensive zone. Trumpetic from behind the net. Centers to Blummer, and he just had it knocked off his stick at the last second. Bottoms at the right point, keeps it in for the Tommies. Wilcox left side. Down low, Trumpetic. Trumpetic skating back towards the top of the circle. Into the corner now, Blummer. Back to the left point for Bottoms. He winds up and then slides a pass to the right side to Wilcox to Bottoms. He shoots through traffic and goes high over the net. Krumpetic plays it off the back wall. Skates towards the blue line on the left side. To Bottoms. Down low. Has Harris. He tried to center it for Blummer. That was intercepted. Back to Bottoms now at the point. Has Krumpetic. He shoots and he scores! Bottoms looked like he had every intention of shooting from the high slot, but at the last second redirected it to Krumpetic standing on the post. And Krumpetic buries it, and the Tommies regain the lead at 4-3 on the power play goal. 8.41 the time for Krumpetic. That's his ninth goal of the season. It's the second power play goal of the game for the Tommies in seven tries. And St. Thomas regains the lead now at 4-3. And they control the open the ensuing faceoff and dump it into the offensive zone. For Krumpetic, his ninth of the season. Bottoms the lone assist. 8.41 on Krumpetic's power play goal, his ninth of the season as the Tommies regain the lead. Exactly 11 minutes to play in regulation. It's been a wild third period. 
It was 2-1 St. Thomas coming in. Four goals, two by each team here in the final frame so far. And we haven't even reached the midway point. St. John's dumps it into the Tommy end. Pippen from behind his own net. Played now by Adam Cozine out of the corner. Tried to play it off the glass on the wing to Fogner. That was intercepted. Now Grunke intercepts a pass himself for St. Thomas and chases it down outside the zone. Crosses the red line, dumps it into the offensive end. Everybody changing on the ice except the two defensemen for St. John's, and Smolarov will come out of the Johnny end. Now he'll retreat, circle back towards his own net, tried to find Luger. Luger was circling the other direction, and Kanga steps up and dumps it into the offensive zone. Harris chases it down at the hash mark on the far wall, looking for Blummer out front. The puck comes free, and Smolarov will take it behind the Johnny net. Left wing side, moving it up ice now, Parento. His pass too far for the intended receiver. Now Eagles gets it. He'll gain the zone for the Johnnies on the left wing. Drops it off for Parento. He's cutting to the net, and Blummer stole the puck from him and pushed it to the far board, but the Johnnies keep it in. Eagles on the near wall. Penalty coming up to Kangas. Delayed call coming. Johnnies control. Langenbrunner top of the circle. Fans on a shot. The Tommies touch it, and the whistle sounds. A slashing call going to Skyler Kangas, and that's going to give the Johnnies their fourth power play opportunity of the game with the call coming at 10-21 of the third period. Angus goes for slashing. Johnny's on their last power play opportunity. Got a power play goal at 104 from Jamie Langenbrunner, his 10th of the year from Daryl Smolaroff. At the time, that tied the score at two. Johnny's on the power play. Smoller off high slot, fakes the slap shot, slides it to the right dot for Bjorklund. Bjorklund back to Smoller off, just inside the blue line to Bjorklund right dot, top of the circle, now down low for Eagle, centered it through the crease all the way to the near side, Langenbrunner catches it, slides it back to Smoller off, Smoller off couldn't handle the hard pass and he has to retreat to center ice. Johnny's clear of the zone and try and transition. Puck poked away by Cozy and into the St. John's zone. Hannah out to play it. Tried to clear it to the sidewall off the skates of Blummer. Now taking no chances, he'll freeze it and get a whistle. Dangerous there for Adam Hannah. He had time to get that shot off, but he just kind of fanned on it and hit Blummer's skate, came right back towards the net. Hannah's showing a little bit of disgust down there now in the St. John's net. He trails 4-3 given up four goals many times this season. 1.44 goals against coming into tonight's contest. Exactly nine minutes to play, 120 to go in the Johnny power play. Into the zone right side, Johnson trying to make a move at the dot, centers it. Semple got a piece of it and tipped it wide. Now Bottoms without a stick. It's behind the net, now he gets one from one of the forwards out there. Cozine smartly gives his defensive player Bottoms his stick. Shot taken from the point, hits traffic out in front and carries off the glass on the end wall. Getzel keeps it in at the left point for St. John's. Top of the left circle. To Holmgren now running things just inside the blue line. He throws one into the slot. Payne comes up with it. Can't clear the zone, however. And Johnson driven down from behind by Pippen. Another penalty coming up to St. Thomas. And the Giants are going to have a five-on-three advantage for more than 40 seconds. As Pippen will sit down at 11.38 for hooking. That looks more like a check or a charge or something, but Pippen is going to go for hooking at 11.38. St. John's already on the power play. will be on a five-on-three advantage now. And the faceoff will come to the right of Hennessy. Garrett Grunke, Anthony Blummer, and Andrew Edwards, the three penalty killers for Terry Strypex Tommies. Yorkland and Smoller off at the blue line. Parento, Eagles, and Langenbrunner, the other the forwards for John Harrington's power play. Johnny's on the power play for another 30 seconds, five on three. Here's a shot by Smoller off right on, and Hennessy with a big save. Buck Terrence to the near wall, Yorkland at the left half. The Langenbrunner in the corner, Eagles behind the net, far side. Back to Langenbrunner. One timer, Bjorkland whistled it wide. Eagles picks it up off the end wall for Langenbrunner. They're just standing back there picking cherries. Just throw it off and he scores! Another power play goal for the Johnnies. Langenbrunner and Eagles were just trading the puck back and forth behind the net. 
beating the two players sort of standing at the top of the circle on each side, Bjorklund and Smolarov. Eagles beat Smolarov at the top of the right circle, and he just throws a laser behind Hennessy. And the Johnnies even the score now 4-4 with 7.48 to play in the third period. That's the fifth goal in the period between the two teams. Smoller off the goal, his seventh of the season. Eagles will get one assist. Langenbrunner should get the other. Langenbrunner and Eagles do get the assist, and Smoller off seventh on the power play at 12-12. Johnny's still on the power play, however, since they got it with the five on three advantage. As they set up, Smolarov, high slot, Bjorklund top of the right circle. To Smolarov again, just inside the blue line, center of the ice, down low for Eagles at the end line. In the corner now for Bjorklund. Fakes a slapper to Smolarov. To Bjorklund, the one timer, kick save, nice pad save by Hennessy, and the puck cleared out into the crowd, and we get the whistle. Exactly seven minutes to play in the third. 4-4 four, four the score. It was 2-1 after two. The Johnnies took a 3-2 lead with two goals, a minute 28 apart. The Tommies tied it just 22 seconds after that, then took a lead on Krumpetich's power play goal at 841. But the Johnnies come back on the power play of their own, a five-on-three advantage, and Daryl Smolarov put the one-timer behind Hennessy at 12-12. We're not at a four. Here's a shot by Holmgren from the slide. From the point, now a shot and a goal! took the initial shot from the blue line. Hennessy made the save. And there were about three Johnny players right on top of it. I didn't see which player banged it home. So we'll wait for the goal call. Regardless, two consecutive power play goals, just 57 seconds apart for the Johnnies. And they grab a 5-4 lead with 6.51 to play in the period. Now a discussion going on at the St. John's bench between the officials and head coach John Harrington. He took the timeout with 6.51 to play. The assists go to Parento and Getchell. We finally get things ironed out. Ross got the power play goal, his second of the season. And the Johnnies on top now by a score of 5-4 and controlling things in the offensive zone. Langan Brunner had a poke off his stick by Krumpetich. Dora chases it back down at his own blue line. Slides it near side for Holmgren. He'll dump it into the offensive zone. So the puck banged around a little bit. Holmgren took the initial shot on that last goal from just inside the blue line. But Ross gets it from Parento and Getchell. And the Johnnies up 5-4 with momentum and 6-12 to play. The whistle sounds and we'll get the face off because the puck left the ice surface up into the crown. The Johnnies out shooting the Johnnies, 28-19. The Johnnies on top where it counts, 5-4 on the scoreboard with 6-13 to play here in the third period. And an absolutely wild third period. Close game, we'll run down all the scoring for you, but it's been crazy. Tommy's now needing to fight back from being one goal down for the second time in the period. They'll dump it into the offensive do zone. Door chases it down. Fanned on his clearing attempt. Francis knocked him down. Door gets it back now in the corner after regaining his legs. Left wing for Parento. He'll skate around and throw it around behind the net to the right wing side for Luger at the top of the circle. Connor's having trouble getting out of the zone. Now they do. Parento left wing side into the zone for Eagles. He had a step, but the puck just got far enough away from him. He couldn't catch up with it. In the corner. Now behind the Tommy net. Controlled by Rollwagon. Kevin Rollwagon for the Tommies up through neutral. Can't get it out of the zone, however. Tried to slide it through neutral, I guess I should say. Eagles intercepted it. The Tommies pick it back up. Back the other way they come. At center, Harris tips it into the offensive zone. It's on net. Hannah leaves it at the side of the cage for Smolarov. He'll skate around behind his own net out to center ice and dump it into the offensive zone. The Johnnies will change their line. Coming out of the corner on the near side, Connor Pippen has nowhere to go with it momentarily. Skates it up ice to Hain. Into the zone, Nate Ryan splits the D. He's hauled down. He's going to draw a penalty as he tried to take the shot and couldn't do so. 
Kane will leave it behind the net. Played by Hankey, the whistle will sound, and a penalty going to be whistled against St. John's for hooking at 15.06, and St. Thomas will go back on the power play for the eighth time tonight. Penalty is going to be whistled against Nate Mainz of St. John's for hooking at 15.06. So 4.54 to play in regulation. Tommy's trail by one, but on the power play for the eighth time tonight. They scored on their last power play opportunity back at 8.41. Dan Krumpetich got the goal. Krumpetich with it at the slot, took it over and slid it into Harris on the face off, or just inside the face off circle, and Harris misfired wide, and then the Johnnies cleared the zone. Actually, the time has put the zone themselves. Bottoms couldn't hold the line on the left side. They'll bring it through center. Now the time he's having all sorts of trouble moving the puck. Bottoms retreats into his own end again. Stands between the hash mark before retreating and setting it back up and moving up ice. Left wing for Blummer into the zone. 420 to play in regulation. Tommy's trail 5-4. Blummer throws it around behind the net. Holden during the first one there. Turns around and out of his zone pass Wilcox. 115 in the Tommy power play. Bottoms behind his own net to set up the breakout for St. Thomas. He'll come up the middle of the ice. Right wing for Krumpetich into the zone. Krumpetich getting pressure from Hankey. Throws it around behind the net. Wilcox catches it in the far corner. He's centered. To Bottoms at the blue line. Skating to his right. Has Krumpetich at the near dot. They'll set things up on the perimeter. Krumpetich over to Bottoms, but it was tipped by Hankey back out the center ice, and Bottoms had to retreat. Now St. John's through center. Hankey nearly got around Krumpetich. Krumpetich played the body, and the Johnny Faithful wanted a penalty call. In their own zone. A little sloppy with the puck is Wilcox. Eagles is all over him. Just 30 seconds in the power play for St. Thomas. And Blummer and Eagles fighting for control of the puck. Harris helping out. Now the Tommies pick it up. They'll try and break it out of the zone near side. Wilcox, far side left wing, into the zone. Blummer going to the net, gets the feet, redirected it just wide, and then threw the defenseman on him into the net. Greg Zempel in the net cone becomes dislodged, and we'll get a faceoff with 3.06 to play in regulation. And the Johnnies leading the Tommies by a score of 5-4. to four. These two teams certainly no strangers to one-goal games. Six of the last seven between these two have been either overtime or one-goal games. Last night, no exception. Last year in the MIAC championship game, went to overtime before the time has moved on to the NCAAs with the automatic bid. Bogner to take the draw on the ice with Cozine, Greenlees, Liam, and Kangas. Controlled by the Tommies, but the pass back split the D. Liam has to retreat all the way back deep into his own zone. Plays it cross ice for Kangas. Kangas cross ice right wing side, Bogner into the zone. Bogner, a one-time at Kemp as he tried to slide it to Cozy. Now out of the penalty box, Mike. In on a breakaway all by himself. He shoots it a bit pad full by the right leg of Kevin Hennessy. Bogner leaves it on the wing for Cozy as he skates through center. Gains his own, top of the circle. Had it poked off his stick. Yorkland clears it to center. Two and a half to play in the third. And the whistle sounds. And I believe the Johnny or the Tommies are going to be whistled for too many men on the ice. With 2.33 to play in regulation, they're going to be short-handed and trailing 5-4. We'll take a timeout. We'll come back. You're listening to Tommy Hockey on AM 950, Air America, Minnesota. He'll skate through center. Two on two into the zone. Top of the right circle. Toe drag gets it to the slot, but then it was knocked off the stick nicely on a play by the defenseman Adam Holmgren. He sends it to the far wall. Smaller off from behind his own net. Content to wait for the Tommies to put some pressure on before moving it up ice. Holmgren. Right wing to Yorkland. Backhand catch into the zone on the right wing side. He'll stop at the hash along the wall. Throw it into the corner for Eagle. Eagles behind the net to Langenbrunner. The puck bounces over his stick. One minute to go in the bench minor. 129 to go in regulation. Johnny's on the power play. Greenlee's sitting out this minor penalty. Pat Eagles in the corner. Had a kick along the wall. Kick free. Back to the point for Holmgren. Throws it down low. William intercepts behind the net. He and Eagles fight for control of the puck. Langenbrunner takes a shot along the near wall. 
Back to the left point now, Holmgren. 107 to go in regulation. Holmgren shoots, tipped out front by Eagles. Hennessy with the save. Tommy's clear to the near wall. Ryan Haynes got it, lost control. One minute to play in regulation. Still 20 seconds to go in the Johnny Power plate. New York on top of the right circle. Shoot, wide of the mark as it was tipped. To the far wall. Kept in by Williams coming off on a line change off the bench. Eagles in the corner. Dumped by William. William gloves it up to Cozine. Cozine cross ice for Hayne on the near side. Hayne tried to get around the defenseman. On, tried to get around Holmgren on the near side. Greenlease is out of the penalty box. 30 seconds to go in regulation. But the puck is in the Tommy end. Hennessy can't get to the bench right away. At center, Kippen tried to catch Blummer at the blue line. The net is empty. Into the zone, Krumpetich nearly brought it in offside. Now Wilcox got it into the zone, but the Johnnies pick it up. 15 seconds to play. Slapper taken by Bottoms on net. Hannah plays it to keep the clock running. Plays it to the side of the net. It's flipped out to center ice. Harris is going to be whistled for a penalty as the Johnnies give it up in their own zone. But that's going to do it. The buzzer sounds. And the Johnnies win this one. They put themselves in the driver's seat for the MIAC regular season title for the third straight season. A 5-4 win tonight, a weekend sweep of the MIAC series. We're back in a moment to wrap things up from the National Hockey Center on AM 950, Air America, Minnesota. Take a full two minute break here. Go ahead and take this break as a full two minute break. The first post game break one on the sheet there on the log. Thank you. National Hockey Center wrapping things up.